This is the two-minute how-to, finding deleted and renamed folders. In the previous example, I set up a rule that will capture folder renames, deletes, and moves. That's highlighted here. In this demonstration, I'm going to find it. First, we're going to use the slice and dice uh, interface. That's the view export button. And here is the screen. It allows you to interactively find whatever you're looking for. Uh, we're going to search the past 30 days. We want all the operations. There are no filters. Give me all the data. This is a typical um, a typical auditing log. You can see there's a bunch of data in here, about 470 records. And let's say we want to see what happened to the folder C colon temp home. So first we're going to add a file, uh, file view. And these are the same way that the rules are set up. So we're going to say C colon temp home. All right, we want to include that. And off we go. Say yes. And there's all the operations that have occurred on C temp home, the folder. First, we renamed it to the recycle bin. That means it was moved. Windows treats renames and moves as the same. So it was moved to the recycle bin. Then it looks like I created another one, so new folder, home. And then I deleted that one. And you can see this was, uh, this was actually my demo from earlier. I was making sure everything was going good. And I'm not a real good speaker, so I did it several times. <laughs> Anyway, you can filter out some of the operations because you really don't care about some things, like uh, say you just want to see the renames, or perhaps you're only interested in the deletes. Um, that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy. Uh, say you want to export the data. You can export the data to whatever format you're looking for, CSV, uh, XML, HTML, Excel, or MDB. That's how to use it interactively. It's the easiest way to get in, getting the data that you're looking for. There's the other option of actually just using a report, and one day it'll come up. There we go. And let's say, for instance, there's a, there's a bunch of reports here. We're going to use the user activity report folder renames. This will be grouped by user. So we're going to run it, previous 30 days. And there you can see the actual operations. Looks like Gene Allen did this to there. I renamed it, and I did that. But this is going to be all folders. So it's not going to be just the one that we were looking for before. And that's all there is to it.